now I've given men my body that didn't deserve it. And you know, it was what it was, but the thought of that now literally makes me want to puke. So I'm okay off of meaningless sex. Like, I mean, sex without some type of bond or love is just exercise at this point. And I work out, so I don't work. You don't have the extra. <laughs> I don't need the extra. Yeah, I feel Let's that. go back to passport bros and black women dramas. I didn't like the fact that every time I make videos, there's people fighting no matter what I say or no matter what I do. And I did not like that. And even though I'm standing up for passport bros, it doesn't mean that they are all good. And even though I said the word Western women, it doesn't mean I said all Western women. So I needed to know who are real, who are not. I needed to prove to the world that there are many passport bros who are not good. And I needed to prove to the world that there are many Western women who are good. And that's the entire point that I want to make. And I've proven it to myself. And you know what I've proven? I tried to filter out the real bad passport bros. And guess what? They all came out. They were all against me. And those bros who hated me and bash me are the ones who are not sincere and they should not go to the Philippines. For me, they are considered the bad overs who is going to the Philippines and who is going to take advantage of my Filipina kababayan who are good. Wow, she had a lot to get off her chest. Um, can we go ahead and start the show? Imagine if I listen what I hate, I gotta say I never give a broke bitch any time of day You ugly when you jealous, bitch Look at that face, I'm hot right now when you're not, okay? You big man, or you big man Got a big bag, popping big tags All white Rover, yeah, with that What's going on, everyone? This is Star. Welcome to the channel, and happy Friday. Or oh, whenever you're watching this. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. I'm just sitting back waiting for spring. What about you? I need to stock up on sundresses, bikinis, uh, shimmer lotion, and sandals. Never mind all that. The lovely Brittany Renner is the topic. As you saw in the opening clip, Brittany has been doing some interviews, and she stated that the men that she slept with didn't deserve her. And I absolutely agree. And see, men like to take full advantage of women when they don't understand their own value. Now, am I saying the men are all to blame? No. What I'm saying is when a man sees you don't know yourself, some men, they'll take full advantage of that. And when they're done with you, they move on to the next. And Brittany has experienced that over and over and over again. What did Cam Newton tell her? What did he say? I can't hang out with you. You'll put it in your book. So Brittany, leave these uh, celebrity dudes alone. Just leave them alone. And let me say this, and I know some people are going to disagree, but what else is new? I think Brittany should hire a stylist. She's been in the industry for a while. Get you a Hollywood stylist to revamp your wardrobe and your image. Quickly. Do it quick. Don't even wait. And make the image change so drastic that people are confused. Go to these interviews looking so elegant that people don't know what to do. You guys remember when Brittany went to Jackson State to talk to those young men about how to spot a gold digger? And she walked in with that little cute outfit with the legs showing. Mm -mm. She should have walked in there with a pencil skirt on, a nice top, long sleeves, hair in a bun, librarian glasses, some heels, and a clipboard. It would have had a whole different effect. People are used to seeing Britney in these hot, trendy outfits. You got to give them what they're not expecting. Am I saying all Britney has to do is dress conservative and her life is going to change? No, it's going to take some real work. That's why it's best to start now instead of waiting five, six years from now. You know, the men on the Internet are saying, oh, it's over for Britney. Britney still has a better shot of getting a millionaire than your chick. Hold on, let me give you some sound effects. That's Britney at your door. Now go ahead and let her in now. No one can tell Britney it's over but Britney. And good luck to her. And now we got to move on to the 90-day rule with Steve Harvey. So I got my hands on this book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. And I must admit, I was laughing as I was reading it. Especially the part when he talks about how people have to go to work and work hard for the 90 days to get their benefits and how women need to make men work hard for 90 days for the cookie. In Steve's generation, this was the woman's master plan to make the man wait for the cookie. This is how she got her bills paid. In today's society, is different. You got some women having sex on the first date, some on the third date, some waiting a month. 
it's different for everyone. The men today, they say they want women to close their legs, but in the same breath, they say they want sex within one to three dates. So which one is it? Because you sound bipolar. And to the men, stop running up on women with these talking points. I had a guy do that to me the other day. And when I tell you, everybody looked at him like he was crazy. Now imagine you're a black woman in a store full of white people. You're standing in line, minding your business. And here comes this black man rattling off everything he needs in a woman. It got so crazy that the white people was asking him if he was okay. He then stopped and stared at everybody. Because this is the one thing about black men. They care about what white people think about them. The man finally realized how crazy he looked and he apologized and left the store. I didn't say one word to that black man. I let him expose himself. That's the type of person I am. I'm not arguing with nobody. You see, these men are listening to these men on the microphones on the internet go off on women and they thinking, hey, we can get out in society and do this. Yeah, y'all keep playing. You be at the wrong place at the wrong time going off, you going to find yourself in a mental institution. I live in a community full of business owners and young entrepreneurs, and we're all trying to create our own shit. And we work hard every day. And when we go to the store, we got to encounter bullshit. Men don't even know how to act. It's disgusting. Now, let me get back to the 90-day rule. I done went off track. The 90-day rule is not a guarantee that a man's going to be committed. It's not a guarantee that he's going to be your man for life. It's not a guarantee that he's going to put a ring on your finger. And I think Steve was feeding the women a fairy tale. Now, let's talk about Steve Harvey's stepdaughter, okay? This guy that's next to her is her ex fiance Memphis DePay, a Dutch soccer player. Yes, Lori was supposed to get married at 19, 20 years old. She was supposed to get married early, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out. And once they broke up, according to reports, Steve Harvey tried to get them back together. Probably when she started dating Future, he probably panicked. I think Lori's going to end up in an arranged marriage. Yeah. Steve Harvey's dating tips were more effective in his era than it is now. All right, next topic on the list, we got B-Love's Life. Let's talk about B-Love's Life. Now, if you watch YouTube videos, you should know who this woman is. This woman made millions of dollars eating seafood here on YouTube. I'll be honest, I have binge watched this woman's channel, definitely. And can we talk about her iced out chain with the crab pendant? Go ahead and show that picture with her husband. Do y'all see this chain? That's what I'm talking about. These mukbangers, they get into the bag. I ain't mad at you. Get your money. Now, the reason why we're talking about B-Love today is because her fans slash subscribers are concerned about her health. People are saying that the seafood is taking a toll on her body. She's consuming too much sodium. Go ahead and put the picture up. When people saw this image of B-Love, the internet went crazy. And B-Love had to respond. She let everybody know that she's not a spring chicken, that she's had numerous surgeries that have driven her body into menopause, and that her body is changing. And we have to get used to the changes. Allow me to give my own personal story on weight gain. Once upon a time, I was 20 pounds overweight, and people were coming at me crazy, saying all kinds of crazy things. I then got a gym membership. I was in that gym six days a week, three hours a day. My body got so toned that the owner of the gym said, okay, it's time to train you for fitness competitions. That's the one thing about me. When I put my mind to something, that's it. Consider it done. I'm recording this right now, and it's after 2 in the morning, and I got to be up at 6.30. Damn, I didn't even do the thumbnail yet. Well, I'll do that tomorrow since I'm not in a creative mood. Even though I got other commitments outside of YouTube, if it means I got to be up at 2, 3, 4 in the morning to get the YouTube video done, I'm going to do it. In conclusion, people need to come to the realization that you're not going to look the same forever. YouTubers are not going to look the same forever. Being that B-Love is at the top of the food chain, no pun intended, 
People are gunning for her. They want her spot. They want to see her fail. Some people are celebrating her weight gain, which is crazy. B-Love is wildly successful. She got the seafood sauce. She got the hot sauce. She's been on Steve Harvey and a number of news networks. She's getting to the bag, and some people don't like that. I personally love to see black people win because it's inspiring. Never in my life have I sat back and wished harm on a YouTuber. Never. Listen, I may disagree with YouTubers, but I'm not going to sit back and wish you bad health, wish your money goes away. That's silly. I wish B-Love good luck on her health journey. Don't quit. Understand, you got this. And don't mind the haters. Let the haters hate. That's what they do. Instead of us all criticizing this woman, okay, I've been there. When people criticize me, encourage the person. I think we as black people need to support each other more. If I see you on YouTube and you're black, I'm supporting. I don't care if you're eating, doing your nails, doing your makeup. I'm supporting. So the word on the street is that Kevin's show is coming back. Some think the friends are going to take over the channel. Others think that the family's going to take over the channel. What do I think? I think it would be cool if a hologram took over the channel. Yes, a hologram. Think about it. If you're a huge YouTuber... You can be replaced with a hologram. People are talking about this on the internet. Go look at Twitter. Imagine going to Kevin's channel and a dark figure appears from the shadows and it's walking towards his desk and it sits down and looks in the camera. And it's a hologram with Kevin's voice. That's spooky. Honestly, how many of you would watch a hologram? I must admit, I would watch. Wait a minute. So does that mean everybody can be replaced? I'm Star. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I will talk to you guys next week. Good night.